Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave it Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife Today's video is going to be Kind of like a vlog vlogmas <laughs> I am a month ahead of schedule Actually it's going to be vlog style um, Not vlogmas Because that comes at Thanksgiving through Christmas but um, today will you buckle that for me today we are <laughs> now no now you're gonna have to go all the way back let go, let go. he's locked <laughs> me in here um, <laughs> so anyway we are leaving Walmart it is 8 30 8 29 actually and we are leaving Walmart we are headed to our local soup kitchen. Uh, our church is actually going to cook the meal and serve the meals lunch. So we stopped by here to get just a few more items. We had gone through their kitchen to see what they had. And it looked like they had a lot of stuff to make taco salad. And so we came and picked up the rest of the stuff that we needed. And so we're headed there. We're going to start cooking. Um, I got heads of lettuce. Um, that was cheaper than buying shredded lettuce. So we're, we bought the heads of lettuce and we're just going to shred them ourselves. And um, you'll see my knife skills. <laughs> oh, mercy. Anyway, um, so that's what we're doing today. So today's video is going to be kind of vlog style. Um, we will film what we can. We're not going to film any of the recipients there just out of privacy sake. Um, but we will, we will film our church, um, <clears throat> cooking and, and so forth. So, um, and then when we get home, I'll fix something for our supper and, and do whatever else we need to do what today. <clears throat> I'm thinking that's going to be my creamy chicken chili because it is only in the 50s here today. Right this is now, North Carolina. Right now, 47. It's 47. In North Carolina, we just came out of 90 degree weather. I mean, the last couple of weeks have been 70s, close to 80. But th this 50 degree weather is a shock to us. Now, it'll get colder as the winter progresses and fall progresses. But, um,. It's, it's kind of the Arctic blast has come in and got us today. So, um, I know that's not cold to a lot of you guys, especially in the north, but it's like, it's really early for us to be in the 50s here in North Carolina. So, okay, we're headed to the soup kitchen. We'll see you there. That's Miss Kanita. She's the kitchen manager here. Uh, this is our group from our church. We're getting instructions on how and where we're getting ready to serve. Hey, here's the little kitchen that we uh, did everything in this morning. There's the peach cobblers that uh, we've just made. And uh, so everything is coming together. Well, everyone, we're in the stock room here at the soup kitchen. It is like a cook's dream place back here. But um, we had so much help show up from the church. We have, I mean, I've literally had to do absolutely hardly anything. They, we have the best church ever. They have just showed up in droves. They are out there feeding the homeless, the needy. It doesn't matter. We don't ask any questions. We just love them and we feed them. And we've made peach cobbler. We have taco salad, fresh jalapenos out of the garden that's back here and it's amazing so we are i'm just over my heart's just flooding over with joy and thankfulness for our church Well, we are home from the soup kitchen. 
And let me just say, I'm looking a hot mess today, but let me tell you, give you a little explanation. I did not sleep last night at all. I slept from about midnight till about 2.15. I got up at 2.15 to go to the restroom and absolutely could not go back to sleep. And I have not shut my eyes since then. I came home from the soup kitchen and was going to take a little nap. I had to get the video edited and out. And so I was going to doze off. It just did not happen. Absolutely did not happen. So what I did was I went ahead and I boiled chicken for tonight's supper. So we're going to make tonight's supper. But first, I went to the post office and sweet Becky is one of my sweet viewers. And she, you guys are absolutely amazing. Like I know I have touted a hundred thousand times how much I love maple, but you guys are so sweet. Um, she brought me this almond maple brittle. So, um, I'm going to give it a try, but she also sent something else that I'm super excited about. And uh, I was fretting over what was going to be for dessert tonight. I have to fret no more because pot of coffee, what I'm about to show you in just a minute. But, oh, I was expecting that that was not the color I was expecting. Here it is. So I'm going to take a little square, just a little square. It says almond. Oh, it's dark chocolate. Definitely dark chocolate. I love almond too. Um, there's a slight bitterness to the dark chocolate. I definitely get the almond. <laughs> but let me show you. It's good. Man, that'll quench my chocolate tooth when I get a chocolate craving. But y'all, this right here is what I'm so super excited about. Oh my goodness, maple cream cookies. And they're organic. Wow. Okay. I know that noise is loud in the microphone. I apologize, but I have to smell it. Y'all, the smell of maple. Oh, I love it. I cannot wait to have a pot of coffee with these after supper. Mmm. Mm. Those are so good. I'm not going to eat any more just because you'll hear me crunching. But when I quit filming, that cookie is in my belly. That is so good. So, all right, let me tell you what I did to prepare for our supper tonight. I'm still cleaning up from supper last night. Um, but I had a bag of frozen chicken breasts, and I just, the whole bag I put in there. So, and I've boiled it. I brought it to a boil, and then I turn it down and keep it at a low boil and let it simmer, sort of. Um, for as long as I want to, and um, as long as I can. Um, so now I'm just um, shredding it up. My hands are clean, minus the maple cookie I just had. Um, the chicken breast is still a little hot, but I am just shredding it up. You can definitely use a hand mixer, but I like bigger, not quite that big, but I like bigger chunks. The hand mixer sometimes gets it too fine, and um, by using my hands, I can check for any fat areas. This is the same pot here that I boiled everything in. And you know how it gets that kind of foamy stuff on the side? I just um, uh, dumped out the juice or saved the broth, but then dumped out everything else and then took a napkin and just wiped out all that foamy stuff. And... Um, so I did not have this seasoned well, so I am not keeping the juice for the broth or anything. Um, I'll just make some bouillon type broth. Woo, hot. Okay, I'm going to grab two forks 
and do this because they're the deeper I get in the chicken, the hotter it is. So these little pieces are cool, but a lot of them are hot. So, all right. So I'm going to shred all this chicken up and I'll bring you back when we throw everything together. Y'all, we had such a great, amazing time at the um, food kitchen. Um, we obviously underbought on the salsa because we definitely ran out of salsa quickly, like as soon as we opened the doors. <laughs> um, but so we'll just have to, um, and see, I like to use my finger so I can see like any little tendons or things like that that I don't want in there. All right, I'm going to do this. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. So for the most part, I am doubling this recipe with the exception of the onion. And that is because I don't have enough onion. I only have one. It calls for one medium onion. I only have one onion and there is nothing medium about it. It is very much small. This whole bag was small and I only have one left. So um, we're going to make do and Maybe I'll add some onion powder or see if I have any minced onion or something I can add. But one's better than none. So uh, I'm going to leave in the description the original recipe, the one that I normally make as far as the quantities. But just know I'm doubling it here if you see me do some crazy things. Like I said, with the exception of the onion. So now it's just all about opening the cans. I have my chicken and my little onion in here. I did find some minced onion that we're going to add. I'm just going to add what I have left. Um, well, almost. Yeah, I'm going in. Um, and so now it's all about just opening the cans and pouring in. So we're going in with some chicken broth. And that's the bouillon that did not get mixed up. All right, I have great northern beans. I'm going to, I'm doubling the recipe. You would only put in two. And uh, when I just put in two, I drain one and I don't drain the other. Same thing when I'm, now that I'm putting in four, I'm going to drain two and not drain two. I'm making extra because um, we like extra. <laughs> And, um, whoopsie, um, I want to have something tomorrow. I know I am super tired today because of the lack of sleep. So tomorrow I have a dental appointment and I'm going to come home and I've got to get to work because we have got to get ready for this, um, chicken stew. So I've got to uh, be busy and I'm not going to have time to cook. And thank goodness we're going out to dinner tomorrow night. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is petite diced tomatoes. And I'm not draining those. Again, you would put in one can. I'm putting in two. A can of green chilies. Again. I'm putting in two. All right. I think that's all my canned stuff. All right. Let's go with the seasoning. Okay. The original recipe calls for one teaspoon of cumin. So we're going in with two. Cumin has that smell. I remember the first time I ever, like I'd been to uh, Mexican restaurants and just didn't know what that spice was. But I'll never forget the first time I smelt cumin to know it was cumin. I was like, oh, it smells like body odor. <laughs> but it is so good. All right. Now it calls for one teaspoon of cayenne. And so therefore, if I'm doubling it, I would put two. But Bryant is not a heat fan. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a slightly heaping teaspoon and let that stand as it is and be okay. All right. So we're going in with two teaspoons of black pepper. All 
And I think that's plenty. That was a light two teaspoons. All right, and let me grab some salt. And I really will probably salt this later after I taste it because I want to, um, I mean, I'm putting a little in now. That was probably a teaspoon. We will taste it in a little bit. Now we have some delicious stuff yet to go in this. This by all means is not done, but we want to get this on the stovetop cooking because we are going to add in heavy cream. Oh, it's going to be so delicious, but we want to get this going. So it looks like there's not enough juice, but trust me, it's okay. It is absolutely okay. So, all right, I'm going to get this going. I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, everyone, I checked. Um, I went and put my pajamas on. Oh, I wanted to show you um, that, see, the liquid, I have not added any liquid. It just, you would think it would be the opposite. You would think it would soak up liquid because of the beans, but it creates liquid. Anyway, we're down to the last two ingredients. We're going to go ahead and put them in, and I'm just going to ever so lightly heat it back up. Now, remember, I'm doubling my recipe. Um, so it would be two cups of heavy cream for a regular recipe, but I'm going to add the whole quart. I'm going to overflow my pot, I'm afraid. <laughs> This is what gives it the creamy chicken chili. Okay, and it also calls for a cup and a half, which is this, of sour cream. But I'm going to have to fill this up twice. Well, I filled it up once and then fill it up one more time. And this is what gives it that delicious flavor and creaminess oh my goodness it's so good if y'all have not tried this recipe um i think i got this it was another youtuber i got this from i think i originally saw it from she's in her apron but then i think she got it from somebody else and i don't remember who that was so i don't know where the recipe originated from but I just know it has become a staple here in our house because it is so good. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to get a little whisk or I'm going to use a spoon actually. And we're going to stir this around and I'm going to turn the heat back on. Going to turn it on very low. We don't necessarily want this milk in here to boil because it will curdle, but we want to get everything mixed in. So pretty and it is so delicious. Um, let me grab what I serve it with while it's heating up. Let me go grab, um, they're over here. I have two different kinds and I'm just gonna mix them of tortilla strips. This is perfect with this. I have some salad left over from last night so we can do a salad and sprinkle these in there. I also have some shredded pepper jack cheese that we can um, top it with. Y'all, you know, this old girl right here is some kind of tired. Um, I think I'm gonna let the kids Usually, well, we may just leave it for tomorrow. I like to leave, like if my family, if it's just me and Bryant, I clean up after everybody's here. But if the family or if we have guests, I don't worry about cleaning because I want my time with them. And then I can clean tomorrow because I don't work. If I worked, well, I mean, I don't work a public job. I do work. <laughs> I work very hard, but I don't work a public job. If I did, that would be different. I would definitely clean up before I went to bed. But since I'm, you know, I'm here and available, 
I, um, I'd rather my time be spent with my family and my friends. So if the kids hang around a little bit tonight, I may just wait. But if they're in a hurry, I'm going to tell them, hey, go in there and put your dishes in the dishwasher before you leave. <laughs> help, help mama clean up. But, um, and they do. They are great kids. They help me no matter what. If I ask them to help, you know, I've had people say before, don't your kids help you clean up? Yes. When I want them to, they do. They offer, they help me clean. They are very respectful. But a lot of times I just want to sit and talk to them, find out how their day was, find out what's happening in their world. And I, so um, dishes aren't important. But like I said, if I worked outside the home, that would be a whole nother story. So I just want to explain why sometimes I leave stuff till the next day. And because I had no sleep last night, this definitely may be one of them days that I leave stuff till tomorrow. All right, I'm just going to leave it on low and I'm going to leave the lid off of it. I'll be sure it's well on low, <laughs> well on low. And uh, we're just going to heat that back up and then we're going to have some delicious soup for supper. And we're going to have plenty to stick in the refrigerator for tomorrow. So, okay, I'll bring you back when it's time to eat. I got to pour up the tea. And then I'm just going to sit and wait for everybody to get here because everything's ready. All right, everybody, here's what it looks like. The family are they're on their way or hopefully they're on their way. Um, I still see a little bit of sour cream that hadn't mixed in, but that is, oh my goodness, this y'all is so good, especially with those tortillas in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, okay, we'll see you when the family gets here. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to go serve at the soup kitchen today. And thank you for reminding us how blessed we are. Lord, thank you for family. And most importantly, for your son, Jesus Christ. And what's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, let's eat. Levi wants to say it. You want to say okay. it? Which came on your nose? He's <laughs> got sour cream on his nose. Okay, do it like this. All right, here we go. Go. God's great. God's great. God's great. Amen. Amen. More, please. How is it, Judah? Good. Eat that, and then we'll get you some more. Isaac. Delicious. Jess. Very tasty. Jamie. <coughs> Levi. The good stuff. Good. <coughs> All right. You guys just heard it right there. <coughs> Delicious. All Very good. good. Cool evening. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, it's the next day, and I just finished for lunch the very last bowl of soup, and that's how fast it went. It was so good. Y'all, this creamy chicken chili is probably in my top three soups. This one, um, my broccoli and cheese, and chicken and rice. These are my favorite Chicken and rice mainly when I don't feel well and so forth. This one, just a good old rich soup and same with the broccoli and cheese. So out of all the soups I make, and I make several soups, these those are my three favorite and this one was probably, I would say this one is, I don't know, this and the broccoli are, I would still put this one probably number one as far as the soups I make. So y'all, um, this is not my recipe. Like I said, I got it from another YouTuber who I think she got it from somebody else. So I don't know where this recipe originated from, but I just know it's good. And um, so, and I hope you enjoyed just hanging with me, spending the day with me. That's what this week's going to be a lot about because we're getting ready for our chicken stew that we have here. So there's lots of prep going to be happening over the next few days. So that's kind of what these videos are going to be like this week. You're just going to hang with me and whatever I make us for supper or whatever we grab to eat, you're just going to join us, okay? So, all right, I'm going to let you go. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.